I'm at the end of row 19. We still have 48 stitches. We're going to slip stitch into that first single crochet that we made, chain one, and turn the work. To start row 21, we're going to single in that same stitch that we just slip stitched into, and then we're going to single in the next 19 stitches so that we have a total of 20 stitches. Continue placing single crochets, one in each stitch, till you have 20 stitches and I'll meet up with you when you've got your 20 stitches. I've got my 20 stitches completed and we're going to change colors. So insert your hook into the next stitch, bring up a loop, bring your red yarn to the inside and grab your green. And we're going to pull up a loop. and holding both strands to work over the top of them, we're going to do a bobble stitch in the next stitch. single in the next and we're going to complete two more bobble stitches there's one and we single in the next stitch because there's always a single in between the bobbles. And one more bobble stitch. And now we're going to change back to red. We're going to keep working over this green so we don't have such a long stretch though. So we're going to single in the remaining stitches back around to the beginning now. So continue working your single crochets back to the beginning and I'll meet back up with you at the end of this round. I'm at the end of round 20, we still have 48 stitches. I'm going to slip stitch into that first single crochet that we made. To start round 21, we're going to chain one and turn the work. So round 21 and 22 is a repeat of round 19 and 20. But first let me stop and give you a peek at what your work should be looking like so that you know you're on the right track. This is, let me back out the camera a little bit here. So this is what your stocking should be looking like so far. So this is what your work should be looking like. Okay, so for my yarn on the right side of the hook there. Okay, so to start off round 21, we're going to single crochet in that same stitch that we just slip stitched into, and one single crochet into each stitch around. So rounds 21 and 22 are going to be a repeat of round 
19 and 20. So please complete round 21 and 22 and I'll meet back up with you at the end of round 22. I'm at the end of round 22. We still have 48 stitches. And we're gonna slip stitch into that first single crochet that we made, chain one, and turn the work. To start round 23, we're going to single crochet into that same stitch we just slip stitched into, and one single crochet into each stitch around. We can go ahead and fasten off our green for our bobble stitches at this point too because we are done making our bobble stitches. And you can weave this end in and we can continue with our single crochets. I'll meet back up with you at the end of this round. I'm at the end of round 23. We still have 48 stitches. We're going to slip stitch into that first single crochet that we made. To start round 24, we're going to chain up two. For round 24 and round 25, they're going to be exactly the same. At the end of round 25, we're going to change colors. So we're going to half double crochet into that same stitch that we just slip stitched into. And we're going to place one half double crochet into each stitch around. Remember your chain two does not count as a stitch in this pattern. So half double crochet in each stitch around. When you come back to the beginning, remember to slip stitch into the first stitch that you made, not the chain two. I'll meet back up with you at the end of the round. We're at the end of round 24. We have 48 stitches. We're going to slip stitch into that first half double crochet that we made. We're going to chain up two. This is going to be exactly the same as 20, round 24 for round 25, except for at the end of this round, we're going to change colors. We're going to change to the green color. So we're going to half double crochet into that same stitch that we just slip stitched into and one half double crochet into each stitch around. Continue placing one half double crochet into each stitch around and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the round. I'm at the end of round 25 we still have 48 stitches and we're going to slip stitch into that first half double crochet we made and we're going to change to the color green. Chain up two and I'm going to tie these two off. So I always like to make sure that my ends are not going to come loose. And we're going to start with a half double crochet right back into that same stitch that we just slip stitched into. And a half double crochet into each stitch around. At the end of 
this round we're also going to change colors again. So continue placing one half double crochet into each stitch and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the round. At the end of round 26 we still have 48 stitches. I'm going to slip stitch into that first half double crochet that we made and we're going to pull up the red, we're going to drop the green, chain up two to start round 27. And we're going to half double crochet back into that same stitch that we just slip stitched into. and half double crochet into each stitch around. At the end of this round we're going to change colors again. We're going to change to the white. So continue half double crocheting, one in each stitch, and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the round. I'm at the end of row 27. We still have 48 stitches. We're going to slip stitch into that first half double crochet that we made and we're going to bring up the white color. We're going to change to white. Like I said, I'm going to tie these off so nothing unravels. I'm going to chain up two, and we're going to slip. We're going to work our first half double crochet right back into that same stitch that we just slip stitched into, and one half work one half double crochet into each stitch around. And at the end of this round, we're going to change colors again. We're going to change back to the green. So continue working one half double crochet into each stitch till you get all the way back to the beginning and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the round. I'm at the end of row 28 we still have 48 stitches. We're going to slip stitch into that first half double crochet that we made and we're going to change colors again back to the green. We can fasten off the white. We don't need that anymore. Chain up two and we're going to place our first half double crochet back into that same stitch that we just slip stitched into and one half double crochet into each stitch around. At the end of this round we can go ahead and fasten off our green and we're going to change colors back to the red. I'll meet back up with you at the end of the round. I'm at the end of row 29. We're going to slip stitch into that first half double crochet that we made and we're going to pull up our red color and we're done with our greens. We can go ahead and fasten that off. To start row 30 we're going to be starting the heel opening. We're going to start with a chain of 26.
Once you have your chain of 26, we're going to skip the next 24 stitches. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And we're going to do a half double crochet in the next stitch. Careful not to get your chain twisted like that. So do a half double crochet in the next stitch. And then place one half double crochet in each of the next stitches or the remaining stitches all the way back around. I'm at the end of round 30. We're going to slip stitch to the second chain that we made. To start round 31, we're going to chain up two and place our first half double crochet into that same stitch we just slip stitched into. Place one half double crochet in each chain around. You should have 24 half double crochets in the chains and 24 half double crochets in the stitches. And that should go all the way around to the beginning. I'll meet back up with you at the end of the round. I'm at the end of round 31. We still have 48 stitches. We're going to slip stitch into that first half double crochet that we made. Round 32 through 38 are exactly the same. We're going to half double crochet in each stitch around. I'm going to start with a chain two and we're going to half double crochet into that same stitch that we first slip stitched into. and one half double crochet in each stitch around. At the end of row 38, we're going to change colors. We're going to change colors to the white color. I will meet back up with you at the end of row 38. I'm at the end of row 38. We still have 48 stitches and we're going to slip stitch to that first half double crochet that we made and we're going to change colors. So let's get our white. the colors together. See where the end is. There we go. And we can snip off the red because we're done with that color. We'll weave that in later. And we're going to switch hooks at this point because we're going to start working on the toe of the stocking. So we're going to take out our eye hook and we're going to switch to our 5 millimeter hook or our H hook. Chain two, and we're going to half double crochet in that same stitch that we just slip stitched into, and in the next stitch, place a half double crochet, and in the next one, we're going to 
do a half double crochet two together or what's called a half double crochet decrease but what I'm going to do we're going to do this um, you can do it one of two ways you can do our traditional one where you yarn over go into the stitch pull up a loop yarn over go into the next stitch pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all loops on the hook or how I like to do it since we're working in the round we can do a invisible half double crochet decrease where we yarn over go into the front loop go into the next stitch in the front loop only yarn over pull through both of those loops and then complete the half double crochet so we do make two stitches into one but it's virtually impossible to see that we did a decrease then we're going to do a half double crochet in the next two stitches then we're going to do another half double crochet two together yarn over insert into the front loop and to insert into the next stitch into the front loop yarn over pull through both of the front loops and complete the half double crochet and we're going to half double crochet in the next two stitches and do another decrease yarn over go into the next loop front loop only pull through yarn over and pull complete the half double crochet and half double crochet in the next two stitches so this is your brief your pattern all the way around. We're going to decrease or half double crochet in the next two stitch next two stitches together, then one half double, one half double, and then decrease again. So repeat this all the way around till you get back to the beginning and I'll meet up with you at the end of the row. I'm at the end of row 39. We have 36 stitches now. And we're going to slip stitch into that first half double crochet that we made to start row 40. We're going to chain up two and we're going to half double crochet two together to start. So we're going to go back into that same stitch that we just slip stitched into, yarn over and go into that half double crochet go into the next half double crochet into the front loop yarn over pull through both front loops yarn over pull through we've just decreased then we're going to half double crochet into the next stitch then we're going to do another half double crochet decrease or half double crochet two together Go into the front loop and the front loop, yarn over, pull through both front loops and complete the half double crochet and half double crochet into the next stitch. Pull some more yarn and then we're going to do another decrease or half double crochet two together, yarn over, insert into the front loop into the next front loop, yarn over, pull through both front loops and complete the half double crochet. And next stitch, regular half double crochet. And then we're going to decrease again, yarn over, insert into the front first front loop, next stitch into the front loop, yarn over, pull through and complete the half double crochet. So this is how we're going to proceed. We're going to do a half double crochet, then we're going to decrease half double, 
and decrease all the way around to get back to the beginning and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the round. I'm at the end of round 40. We have 24 stitches now. We're going to half we're going to slip stitch into that first half double crochet that we made to start round 41. I'm going to chain up two and we're going to place a half double crochet into that first stitch that we just slip stitched into and then we're going to decrease in the next so yarn over, go into that first front loop, go into the next stitches front loop, yarn over, pull through both front loops, and complete yarn over and complete the half double crochet. Go into the next stitch and make a regular half double crochet. We're going to decrease in the next, so go into the front loop and to the next front loop yarn over, pull through both front loops, yarn over, and complete the half double crochet. Repeat this pattern all the way around. Regular half double, decrease, regular half double, decrease. And I'll meet back up with you at the end of the round. I'm at the end of round 41. We have 16 stitches. I'm going to slip stitch into that first half double crochet that we made. To start row 42 we're going to chain up two and we're going to do a half double crochet two together. We're going to go into that very stitch, same stitch that we just slip stitched into in the front loop only and go into the front loop of the next stitch and half double crochet two together, half double crochet two together in the next two stitches and we're going to continue doing that all the way around till we get back to the beginning I'm at the end of round 42. We have eight stitches and we're going to slip stitch into that first half double crochet that we made. And we're going to fasten off and leave a long tail so that we can sew up the end of the stocking. And we're just going to go in and out of that last row of stitches to close up the toe. Just close that up, put a couple of stitches across just for stay, for a couple of stay stitches and bring it into the inside of the stocking, turn it inside out to the inside so that we can knot it off. off that end. I like to leave a little bit of an end there because it's on the inside. And our toe is now complete. 
Now we're going to start on the heel next and we're going to be using the white yarn so let's get ready to work on the heel <laughs> 